opinion, genomics is better as it can provide many minute details of mutations in various clinical conditions. In my opinion, proteomics is better since it provides us valuable information about proteins which are very dynamic biomolecules, thereby revealing targets of therapeutic value. How about we make best use of both genomics and proteomics technology and try to integrate that information to obtain some novel insights. Proteogenomics is an emerging and collaborative arena of research at the interface of proteomics and genomics. Through this MOOC course on Introduction to Proteogenomics, we intend to provide students and researchers the exposure of this field for the very first time. Hi, I am Sanjeeva Srivastava, a professor in the Department of Biosciences and Bioengineering and your instructor of this course, Introduction to Proteogenomics. Life Sciences Research, especially Cancer Research, has been significantly aided by advancements in proteogenomics, where proteomics information derived from mass spectrometry is used to complement genomics using next generation sequencing technology. With the recent advent of Cancer Moonshot project, the critical role that proteogenomics can play in improving the cancer patient treatment is increasingly being recognized. Cancer Moonshot, our effort to put together a strategy to end cancer as we know it today. To inject the urgency of now into this fight against cancer, we've reached an inflection point over the last six years, coordination of science and technology coming together, giving great opportunity. Similarly, we have initiated Cancer Moonshot India program from IIT Bombay and Tata Memorial Hospital Mumbai in collaboration with National Cancer Institute, USA. For me, the Cancer Moonshot, what it represents is hope. Hope that's going to be offered, not just for the research community, but also towards patients and their loved members that are afflicted with cancer. This proto-genomics course will comprise of interactive lectures from the experts of the field who will provide various case studies, hands-on sessions, and demonstrations on proteogenomics, which will aim to accelerate our understanding of biology for various relevant diseases. You know, we still have only sequenced a small percentage of the, the total organisms that are, are on the world. So there's a lot more we could do, but um, we're limited with that. By adding in the proteomics, the, what we can do is use the proteomics uh, to prioritize which um, um, of the genomic changes are uh, actually important. We want to gain a holistic view of the system and the way to do that is by analyzing the system at different molecular levels if you can. Artificial intelligence and machine learning and uh, all those areas, the, the buzzwords that you hear are becoming actually more and more useful in doing analysis. The advanced genomic and proteomic technologies and their data from high quality human biospecimens may identify potentially actionable therapeutic molecular targets. The hands-on sessions on computational methods as well as a statistical data analysis will provide a very new insight of looking at proteogenomic data. The daunting task of discovering cancer and other disease biomarkers and novel cancer relevant genes through proteogenomics required substantial collaboration and teamwork. This MOOC course on introduction to proteogenomics will be a small step forward towards building the next generation of researchers and education commons in India and internationally. Thank you.